What are the chances that you are going to die? Well, we're going to talk about that in just a second. I hope you're watching. Welcome to the Youth Group of Faith Baptist Church. I hope all you teenagers are out there uh, watching this, and um, I welcome you to this update. I welcome Tyler, Cameron, Hosanna, Natalie, Nicole, William, Cedric, Keegan, William, Braden, Stevie, Cindy, Cindy, Sierra, Elena, Damaris, Marissa, Levi, Ellie, Kendall, and everyone else that I forgot. Uh, send me a text or something if I forgot you in this list. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but I just may have. So um, let me include you next week in our update. So this is our, our weekly update uh, for our update today is April the 8th today, and I hope you're doing well. Uh, miss seeing you guys on Wednesday night. This is our update, and the topic for today is what is the chances, what are the chances that you are going to die? What is um, the death rate? Well, of course, um, we're talking um, uh, about death rate, and most people think about the coronavirus. We're talking about death rate right now. Uh, the coronavirus is causing lots of problems in our world, and there is a death rate associated with the coronavirus, although it's very hard to pin down. Uh, we don't exactly know what the percentage is, somewhere between like 2% and 12%, depending on where you are and how you're counting and that kind of thing. Um, anyway, uh, people are dying from the coronavirus, and what are the chances that you are going to die from the coronavirus? Well, pretty slim. No one that I understand, uh, I understand has died under the age of 19 from the coronavirus. So that doesn't mean you shouldn't be concerned about it. You don't want to get it, of course. But um, the, the, the chances that you are going to die from this is pretty slim. And I want to encourage you along, this, along these lines that you shouldn't be discouraged or depressed or, um, or you know, in fear. Um, you might get it, and the chances are that you will survive. Okay? So, but what are the chances that you're going to die, period? Because while there are a lot of people that are really concerned right now about dying and it's causing fear in their life and um, they're doing all sorts of things to try to keep themselves from getting the coronavirus so that they won't die, they won't get sick, um, and yet everyone's going to die, right? I mean, what's the chances that you're going to die? Well, 100%. Okay, so I, while we're talking about this, of course, we have to bring up the two people that never died. And that would, of course, be Enoch, the guy there on the left, and Elijah, the guy there on the right. These two guys in the Old Testament did not die. God took them, and uh, and so they are the only two that have not ever died physically on earth like this. But, of course, everyone else has, and so statistically speaking, I mean, it's essentially 100% of people have died. And I know we've got the two that have not, but out of the billions of people, two have not. Um, everyone else has, and you will too. And the Bible is very clear about this, um, that we are all going to die at some point. And so there's something that's more deadly than the coronavirus, so lots of things. Um, but the one thing that is the most deadly of all is, of course, not the coronavirus, but sin. Sin is causing uh, the problem of uh, in our world and causing everyone to die. In Romans 3.23 says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There's not a person that has not sinned. In fact, Romans 6.23 says, the wages of sin is death. This is the penalty for sin. This is the earnings of our sin, death. And so we will die. In fact, Hebrews 9.27 says, and as it is appointed to men once to die, but after this, the judgment. And so, of course, the questions, uh, there's lots of questions that ought to be raised there. First of all, um, uh, are you ready to die? We've talked about this in youth group. Are you ready to die? Do you know for sure that if you died, you'd go to heaven? I hope so. After death is the judgment, and you need to be ready to stand before your creator in judgment. And so I hope that you are um, a Christian. hope you have believed in God, believed in Christ, asked him to save you from your sins, forgive you, and um, you've trusted him as your savior. I hope you've done that. If not, you need to. You need to. Well, uh, we will die. We'll all die at one time. And uh, the Bible also says in Psalm 90, 12, so teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. I hope that these days are causing you to think about the fact that you will die one day and we have a short amount of time to live and we need to use our time wisely. We need to use it well, um, serving God, loving God, trying to do what's right. Are you doing that? I hope you are. And um, I know it's not an interesting thing to talk about death necessarily. We know no one wants to talk about death. We don't like to talk about it. Um, but we all will die, and the death rate is a hundred percent. That hasn't gone up or down with the coronavirus. The death rate is still one hundred percent for all people. And um, and so, are you ready? 
Now, of course, you can't help but think when this week that we had Easter coming up and, and Jesus Christ himself died on, on Good Friday, um, thousands of years, 2,000 years ago or so, and, and died for our sins. And Easter Sunday is coming and we get to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ this Sunday. And so I hope you're staying tuned to our YouTube channel. Um, do that. Um, we're going to be uh, in our Facebook page and our, our announcements and stuff. We're going to be posting some things about some special stuff we're doing for Easter. Uh, even though we can't uh, meet physically, we're going to try to do something special for Easter. So um, stay tuned and uh, be excited about the, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. that gives us hope for eternal life, even though we know that one day we'll die. We know we can also have eternal life with God. Now, uh, that's our topic for today uh, regarding death rate. I hope you're ready to die, and then I hope you're ready to live and number your days and do right and, um, and, and love God. So hope you're doing your devotions. Hope you're walking with the Lord. Uh, share this video with the teenagers that you know, and um, maybe they need to know about how they can know for sure they're on the way to heaven, and you could help them, or you could point them into the, to the right person, and um, I could help them. We want to make sure that everyone knows for sure how to how to get to heaven um and how they can know for sure they're on their way to heaven before they die all right so i can't wait to see you again this is our update for this week